What's up, Patreon? In today's video, we're talking about C-sections. And I firstly want to thank you for all of your support. You guys are absolutely amazing. Okay, first I'm going to talk about a C-section for about a minute. Then I'm going to let you enjoy the animation. Now, the C-section is performed by cutting, by making a, a horizontal cut about three inches below the belly button. As you can see, I'm going to peel off, peel off the layers so you can see what the cut goes through. At first, it goes through the skin, the connective tissue, then the muscles. And one of them, as I'm highlighting, you can see all of this. Uh, then it goes through the oblique muscle. Then finally, uh, once the doctor cuts through all the muscles, including the rectus abdominis, uh, the doctor can then see the uterus. Once the uterus shows up, the doctor then cuts the uterus and extracts the baby. Now, here again, you can see the layers. You can see the thick, very bottom layer, which is the uterus, and it's kind of crazy. As I highlight these layers, you see that it's a pretty deep cut, but if done correctly, mostly done correctly, it you know mostly never hurts the mother. Now, there are three reasons why this procedure is done. The first reason is if the baby or the mother are having issues. The second reason is if the mother's delivering more than one baby. And finally, the third reason is when the baby's really hard to deliver through vaginal uh, canal, vaginal birth, as you can see here. Here's another crazy observation. You'll never be physically connected to any other human being other than your mother. Because if you've taken biology or physiology or, or chemistry, you know that molecules repel each other and you can never have physical contact with anyone. Now, in this case, as you can see, the placenta that is going to be highlighted on the right side. This is the only interface you have with a mother. This is the, the, the only time you're going to be physically connected, molecularly connected to another human being. Another crazy thing, as the sperm fertilizes the egg in the fallopian tube, and then as the fertilized zygote comes and attaches itself to the uterus walls, it's kind of like a parasite. It grows a placenta for itself so it can suck out all the blood and nutrients and it can grow the baby. It's kind of a crazy mechanism. I don't want you to think of it this way, uh, but, but it's really interesting to note those two things, the physical contact as well as the last one. Anyways, I'm going to let you enjoy the animation. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'll be posting more of these animations. They're pretty unique. And once again, thank you so much for all of your support. Uh, enjoy the animation, and I will see you in the next video.